Gillingham have sacked their manager, Paul Taylor. The board of directors ended weeks of speculation today when they called an emergency meeting at the ground following Gillingham's 10th consecutive defeat. It's their worst ever run. Youth team trainer Damien Richardson and coach Bill Collins have taken charge. Paul Taylor's 10-month reign as Gillingham manager ended just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. He was dismissed following a hastily convened board meeting and was clearly in no mood to comment. Taylor took charge last December when Keith Peacock was sacked after a 6-0 defeat at Aldershot. Yet under Taylor, Gillingham won only nine of their 33 league games. And their current run of 10 consecutive defeats is the worst in the club's history. The team have slumped after a bright start and are now third from bottom and facing a long fight against relegation. Pressure had been building on Taylor as Gillingham nosedived down the table and it finally came to a head after last night's 5-0 defeat against Preston North End. The outcome is that Paul Taylor and uh, John Gorman are no longer with the club and we don't wish to enlarge upon that at the moment. And meanwhile, um, Damien Richardson and Bill Collins will be looking after the team. Have you any idea who might be the next manager of Gillingham? Uh, not at this moment. How quickly do you want to make an appointment? As quickly as possible. Is it as a direct result of last night's 5-0 defeat at Preston? It's a direct result of the position that we're in in the league table. Will Keith Peacock be coming back as manager? I would think it's highly unlikely. Yet ironically, only last Saturday, Taylor and his team were given a standing ovation despite a 4-3 defeat against Berry. But now the club directors must begin their search to find a third manager in less than a year. Hunter's choice is John Hollins, the former Arsenal manager who lives in Sevenoaks. Peter Taylor, the Dartford player manager, is another favourite. If you're looking for long odds, how about Billy Bonds, the West Ham veteran? Or Mark Lawrenson, who was sacked from Oxford earlier this week? I think we can, I honestly feel that we can beat uh, any team in the league. That sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. And by Tuesday night, it certainly did. Time was running out for Taylor as Preston rammed in five goals to leave his job hanging by a thread. Defeat number 10 is the final straw, because on Wednesday, Taylor was sent packing. The club claimed they'd parted company amicably, though someone forgot to tell Taylor. But as the board began their search for a replacement, they could at least reflect that it hadn't all been doom and gloom. Mark Cooper had scored his first goal of the season against Berry. 